Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. Today we're gonna to be testing out a store-bought brownie mix. It is from High Key, and we're gonna see if this is any good and if it's worth the price tag. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, and let's do this. Okay, so if you've been with me for any amount of time, you will know that I will test out some store-bought keto products because even though they are on the expensive side, as all keto products are, the whole point of being able to maintain a keto diet for the average person is to be able to find a few things that are store-bought that make our lives a little bit easier to where we don't have to make everything from scratch because that is kind of the hard thing about these types of diets is you have to make everything from scratch. They're very labor intensive. And while the results can be amazing, sometimes they're not amazing. And you know, I would just like something convenient once in a while. So I'm testing out the high key baking mix for brownies. This is the chocolate chip fudge. It does have little chocolate chips in it. It makes 12 brownies in an eight by eight pan and they are two net carbs Per brownie, they have 12 grams of fat and three grams of protein. All you need once you have purchased this, this is 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll have it linked in the description box below. All you need is a stick of butter and two eggs and this. So what's nice about this is that you will make this just like you make a regular boxed brownie mix. You're gonna put the mix in, you're gonna melt the butter, put that in, add in your eggs, stir it all together, pour it into an eight by eight pan that's been sprayed and parchment paper or whatever if you wanna do that and uh, bake and that's it. Now, you'll see in the footage that I'm gonna bring in that I did add some uh, pecans to mine. I chopped up pecans that I'd actually made praline pecans out of, but regular pecans would work or whatever kind of nut because these are very uh, dark chocolate fudge flavored. It's really rich. And so having that pecan in there kind of just breaks it up just a little bit, gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch, you know, and a little bit less sweet. Um, it's not overly sweet, but it's really rich. So um, I'm gonna take you in my kitchen, show you how to make these, and then I'll be back to wrap things up. says do not over mix. So I've just folded in two eggs. Now we're gonna pour it into the pan. We're gonna bake at 350 for 25 minutes. First I'm going to put in my praline pecans, which are amazing. I'm gonna put that in here and pour it in, bake it, and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, these are the best brownies, keto style, that I've ever tried, homemade or not. They are, they are expensive, they're 10 bucks, but to me, super, super worth it. They use the sweetener um, is erythritol, stevia, and monk fruit, and um, it's just really, really good. The only thing that I would give a knock on this is that when you bite into the chocolate chips that are in it, you do get that really, really, really slight cooling effect that from the erythritol, but it's pretty minimal, um, but I did notice it. Um, but otherwise, I mean, these aren't grainy, they're soft and moist, they're chocolatey, you know, really rich fudge. I, I mean, they, they're 10 bucks, but really if you bought, the monk fruit, the stevia, the almond flour, the cocoa powder, all of that stuff separately, you're gonna spend more than $9.95, which is what this is anyway. 
And this is so easy. It is a super simple thing that, you know, if once a month you bought these or whatever, this would be worth it. I give these two thumbs up. Really, really good fudge brownies. And super simple. And only two carbs. Check these out. Link is in the description box below. Okay, I hope that you have found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that you think might be interested in some keto comfort food that's actually simple, one bowl, one pan, and done. Love that kind of stuff because it's pretty rare in a keto diet. Also, if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. Stay inspired, and I will see you in the next video.